Gun in gamers here. Chorlog right, number one. Chorlog number one. That was real quick. We are finally, finally back with our Chorlog number one for Farming Simulator 15. It has been almost two months since we did our Chorlog 13 for Farming 13, and here we are uh, all this time later. There has been so much things that we've been working on. I want to start out by saying thank you everybody for the huge demand on these videos. I get tons and tons of emails every day asking where the chore logs are. You guys beat me up in the live streams asking. I get the comments, like I said, the email, the YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Steam, everywhere we go. There's comments asking... Where are the chore logs? Well, they're finally here. And I'll explain why it's taken us so long to get some of these out. So, got my little buddy here. Aiden, how are you doing? Good. Doing real good. Aiden just celebrated his fifth birthday, so that's pretty awesome. He started doing these chore logs with me last summer when he was three and a half, a year and a half ago. And here we are now, and he's big five-year-old, and... We're going to have a great run over the next two years with these farming videos. We plan on doing one chore log a month and hopefully at least three, four, five, maybe six uh, farming related videos in between uh, that are going to be Twitch carryovers, you know, video from Twitch that we move over uh, from the live stream and uh, that way y'all can watch it. We are going to have ourselves three servers. We already have three servers. Two of them are set up. And uh, we've got this one here. This is my private server. This is our Bjorn Home Gun and Gamers edit. And you can already see one little small thing that's different. We've got a sidewalk. We're going to have a little cruise around the map. We're going to take a look at a few things that I've changed. Many of you have already seen this on Twitch. Uh, Aiden and I are both wearing handsome red shirts. Yep. Gun and Gamers red. Um, but, um, yeah, we, I went ahead and I edited. This is a, a map that will be private. It will not be released for quite some time. I want to have a unique map that we can do our farming videos from, yet I wanted to use Bjorn Home because I wanted to represent Farming 15. This is the map that is best known in Farm 15, and uh, oh, he's got his chainsaw. Um, we just want to make sure that we represent the game. And we're going to be running our West Bridge on our member server. And we've also got our public server uh, that's going to be running a couple of different maps. We're going to switch maps out every few months. Right now we're running two rivers over there. So, Aiden, let's go ahead and get to work and look at this thing over here. We've got our Gun and Gamers community farm. You'll see these billboards. And there's going to be more billboards coming soon. But this is the one that... Uh, I've worked on already. It's a very just a simple uh, picture of the farming and then uh, the logo and whatnot. But this billboard is an excellent mod. I got this off of F, uh, FS uh, UK, and uh, it can be downloaded from there. But this is a mod that everybody's been talking about and everybody's been asking us about. This was a private gift from our good friends. Uh, Jay Wida, uh, also known as Jason, uh, around the live stream, and, uh, and Husky Farmer. Uh, this truck will not be released to the public. It's a private mod, a private gift. It uh, is not something you can download. Everybody's asking, where can you download this? It's not something you can download. It was something that was created here using some pieces from different mods. If you notice, this is the Ford truck body from Farming 13 mod, the original modder, where we took and um, they took the skin that I did and Husky has gone through and added some nice Realtree camo graphics to kind of spice it up. And Jason has tweaked the physics and gotten the thing actually to run really nice and they've put bigger tires on it. They've put... Uh, you know, the like I said, the decals on it with the camo really spice the body up. They've got mirrors, uh, working mirrors, the light bar. Uh, I certainly don't want to leave out something. I don't, I, the running board, I think that was also added. That was, again, these are some pieces taken from a few other truck mods. But uh, they've got uh, the front end looking real nice. They put on a winch that at this time is not working, but it is uh, possible maybe in the future we will have a working winch on it. And they've got my uh, Green Bay Packer license plate. It's ironic that they put this on here. None of this had anything to do with my input. 
this was them putting on what they thought Aiden and I would like. And ironically, I had this plate on the front of my truck in Tennessee for you know, the whole time I was down there because we didn't have a front license plate down in Tennessee. So I put one of these on, and now it's hanging in my garage. So it was kind of funny that they chose that on the front plate. Uh, we've got the driver's side over here, the same thing. Uh, it also has working strobe lights, uh, which look really slick. And then on the back, we've got a custom hitch. And look what they went and did for us here. They've got the Wisconsin Green Bay Packer license plates on there. And it's really funny that they um, got those on there for us also because that is what, again, I use in real life. Although I don't have the gun in gamers, I do have the Wisconsin Green Bay Packer issued license plates. Uh, so it, it just really was funny that they came up with that when, uh, when they didn't even know those, those things. So really fits us. Aiden and I love this truck. It's a great gift. This is one small reason why we haven't gotten chore logs. These trucks, they've got hundreds of hours into this truck. Some of the other mods that we've made and, uh, as far as me making the map, and it has taken two months to get us where we are right now. So... It, uh, it's, it's not something that uh, could have been done any quicker, but I wanted custom content when you come to Gun and Gamers to watch our videos. I don't want it to look just like everybody else's. So, again, these mods, this map, these are private gifts. This map is my private edit. Uh, these will not be released to the public. Uh, maybe if ever, at least for s quite some time. So please don't don't bug us in the comments. It's uh, it's not something that uh, that, that we're going to be able to give out. So uh, here is the truck. The sounds again have been improved. This truck, uh, I don't even want to say this truck, but the Ford F three fifty in general in Farming thirteen did not work very well. Tailgate works also. Uh, as far as how it drove, it had sloppy mechanics, it, it, it took off 100 miles an hour, well, it took off 60 miles an hour and, and, and you couldn't control it. It uh, basically, you know, just got to a point that it wasn't a very fun truck to drive, but it did go fast and it also uh, didn't back up very fast. Well, the way that they've got this truck now is it drives beautiful, it takes off nice, the sounds are all normal like they're supposed to be. You can drive at any speed. Uh, it actually goes faster. It goes 70 miles an hour. Um, I don't, I mean, it, it backs up like a dream. Goes backwards just fine. And we've actually got a version kind of a little bit like this. It's been worked a little bit on our public server. So when you go to download those mods, you'll get like a blue lizard truck that's got kind of the I think it's got kind of, well, it's not these wheels, it's some different wheels, but, uh, you know, basically, it's better than the lizard truck that's in there. Um, and we do have a lizard truck in here that we'll have to cruise by so that we can have a comparison here in a bit. Here is our, uh, well, we'll turn on our, all of our lights. We've got flashers in the mirrors, flashers on top, and of course, that's the thing that we really love. We've got the uh, lights up there. We've got working strobes. Turn off our flashers. We've got working strobe lights built into the lights, front and rear. Just a slick, slick truck. And I cannot say thank you enough to those guys for all of their hard work to make this truck happen. Now, for those of you that are not Ford fans, there are uh, possibilities and there are talks that we may see another one of another brand in here soon. We may have a Chevrolet come in. Uh, I would love to see a Chevrolet. I had a Dodge in 2011. I had a had, had a Ford in 13. Now we've got a Ford in 15. And I'd, I'd like to see possibly, uh, you know, like I said, I'd love to see a Chevrolet in, in 15. And, and, and obviously we're going to keep our Ford. And uh, who knows? Who knows what else we'll come up with. So let's go ahead and meet up with Aiden. We're going to go for a little truck drive. Your flashing lights on, okay? Aiden's got his flashing lights on. This is, uh, why don't you roll over here by the chicken yard, Aiden? I'm okay. just around the corner. 
we'll just take a look at our map. This is just gonna again be kind of an intro video. We did a first look video of farming on the day it came out on Twitch. Of course you saw that on YouTube. I did the 24 hour live stream. That was a major success. 14, over 1400 people followed during that live stream. Um, I had so many good uh, people stop by, so many donations of, from generous folks, and uh, so much wonderful things. I, I cannot say thank you to the community enough, but uh, this looks a little bit like the Farming 13 as far as the eggs. They're all inside here. I'm going to collect this one. Uh, and this one we can actually crouch in Farming 15, which is really nice. Aiden, why don't you collect the eggs over here? Get the eggs over there. It looks like we're, we've got to... Um, probably get some wheat and some water over here we may be running a little low on those this is uh again a public server now for this episode to make sure everything runs smoothly i've got this hosting off my machine i took our save game from our server and i'm doing it on my machine and then aiden's joining me in the future you will see other people friends of ours working on this farm when we're in here doing our chore logs this farm I started up a few weeks ago. It's running 24-7 around the clock so that this thing never stops. So again, here's some information about the actual uh, edit itself. We'll jump in and look here. We've got everything set to real time. We've got mission frequency. We do every five minutes. Our plant growth is always set to slow. Plant withering is always turned on. It takes about two days to get crops to mature and you have about a day to get them off. Uh, before you lose them, which we have unfortunately had happen a few times. So this server really requires us to be in here every day doing some chores. Uh, and there's going to be some days that we peel all the crops off and we don't come in here at all. And we just let the farm go. And of course it's going to be costing us money. The animals are going to be running through feed. Uh, and it's going to make more work that needs to be done. But this is the way I want to do my chore logs for the next two years. I want to do them on a dedicated server that's always, always going. And uh, unfortunately, I can't show you the play time. I know we're several hundreds of hours in that this this server or this game has been going. Um, because it's off of the server, it doesn't have those stati statistics right now. But uh, you're going to see in, in other chore logs, in future chore logs, where Aiden and I will be in here working and there'll be other people rolling around, like I said, with tractors and equipment doing all the different jobs. Right now, we only own a few fields and we'll go through and look. We've got 50 cattle. We have got ourselves 100 chicken. Of course, the one, the one there is the uh, rooster. We've got ourselves um, 10 cows. All these things we've noticed are saying zero because uh, it takes about 10, 15, 20 minutes before those numbers will kick in. And um, I've also had a problem too with the eggs in multiplayer where uh, the eggs don't come out of the uh, off the ground, but they'll go into the backpack. But but then you'll sell them and. It's just basically a goofed up number thing here, but at the end of the day, it's all working properly. So uh, water mod is working. We've got that in here. Uh, cows again, 10. So uh, I think our productivity, because we're not feeding mixed rations yet, is a little bit low. It's, I think, 80%, but uh, we're getting that 10% boost off the uh, off the water, which really does help out. Aiden, let's get in the trucks and go for a ride, buddy. Fine. Where's my truck? Oh, up <laughs> Did you lose it? All right, let's go and have a drive. I changed the yard up a little bit. I got rid of that uh, shed that served no purpose, and I put uh, all of our seed and fertilizer and stuff like that over here. We have got a uh, pressure washer right there. I might eventually move those into a shed. I want to maybe put a small shed up here, but for now, that's how we did it. Um, del deleted the loft out of that shed. We've got uh, another shed that's been put in over here just for more storage. Most of our implements we're putting into the shed that I've uh, added in over here. We've got a nice open up yard for parking it, all of our vehicles and you know getting moving around and uh, of course a couple more sheds we've added here and this is a thing here I really like is having a mission board in the middle of our um, of our yard. You gotta watch out bud. Then we go over here, we've got fuel. So everything we need is right here in the yard. 
And then we've got our, it looks pretty dirty here, we might have to have Aiden wash this. We've got our Gun and Gamers community farm truck here. It's a really a dirty one. We're working on the graphics on this thing too to get them to pop a little bit more. Um, on the hood we've got the uh, YouTube and Twitch. And uh, our trailer, we've got the Gun and Gamers community farm logo again on there. And uh, Twitch on one side and YouTube on the other. So we've redone, reskinned our our uh, trailer. And this again, this one holds 100,000 liters. If you come into our multiplayer server, uh, this is actually included in the, uh, the, the pack of mods there. And uh, you'll be able to actually have this trailer for yourself there. So it's a really nice trailer. And uh, this Pete really pulls it. It's so much better than the MAN, MAN, MAN truck that uh, came default in the game, which would really, it wouldn't touch this trailer. It wouldn't pull it, especially when full. So this thing here, it'll pull anything you want. So um, if we jump into our store and we take a look at our mod section over here, currently I'm only running, uh, I've got one John Deere that we're running. We've got uh, our uh, billboard. There's the, the Ford truck, and I, I love what they've done here. A pickup to haul gunning around. So again, very nice gift. Um, we've got the uh, the trailer that originally started in 2013 as the cat, and we give the credit still to the original creator of the trailer, even though we've uh, reskinned it and carried it over. Um, so th those things are really uh, again the cat trailer. There is no mod uh, link for that trailer because it's it's not it's it, it's it's from 2013. So y I think you can get it from LS13, but it's it's going to be a cat trailer. So there is. Everyone's going to ask, where can I get that? I don't know what to tell you. You know, it's it's in our mod pack for our public server because we use it over there. Um, you know, see the 24-7 server video, but uh, there's no actual link. There's going to be a lot of custom mods that you're going to see in Gun and Gamers videos, and there's not always going to be links available to give you. Most of the things we get come from uh, LS 2015, LS 15, or FSUK, or the main farming website. So, let's continue on here. Let's go this way. Um, hey guy, uh, probably we should go fill our uh, trucks up with the gas. Oh, yeah, that's one thing about this game is that you really don't go through a whole lot of fuel. But we, we don't need to do that right now, bud. Follow me. Go down, I would just go down that road if you want. We're going to cruise down here. I made this road going down to the wool pallet area. It's just nice to cut through here and dr when you deliver your wool. Aiden's probably going to have a bit of a drive around here because I don't think he's going to keep up with me. You see me? Uh, nope. Uh, I'm actually going this way now. Yep, turn right. Alright, he is behind us now. You see me? We'll turn our HUD on here and we'll get her up to 70. Really gets it up a, a, a nice speed. You can still control it. You can, I mean, it's so much more controllable than the Lizard. That so weird. And even take that corner. I mean, it's a really point and shoot vehicle now. Yeah, where are you? Oh. I'm over at the lumber yard. <laughs> I'm over here, Dad. I remember. Yep, keep going. Where you went? Yeah, I could have went through the, the first road here, but this is the road that I uh, put in. Takes you down into the lumber yard from just an extra road. So when you're coming in with those logs hanging out of your forks, we've got a lot of nice room to get in here and, and do what we got to do. I went ahead and... Um, you know, created this so that it makes it a little bit more realistic, that it forces you to unload your logs. I shrunk the trigger to be very small and be down on the ground there, so you actually can't just drive through here and have the logs fall off. You need to pull up here in the yard and, and unload all of your, um, all of your logs. So that's what I've changed with the lumber yard, and there's, there's, you know, so many different, uh, uh, things that I've changed in the map. I made kind of a ramp over at the pond there if you did want to back in. There's just a lot of things that, you know, we won't cover. You may notice as we go along. But, um, again, this map, I'm not going to be re releasing this mod in, you know, probably at least for another year and a half. 
uh, when we're getting closer to the next farming game. I just want to keep it a little, you know, a little more personal uh, for what we use in our video. Uh, this over here is our area that we've been logging, and many of you will recognize this. The, the dirt or leaf area here is where the, the forest once came out to, and we've just been working on cutting this back. Aiden and I will probably cut a few trees down here in this chore log, and uh, we'll go over and test out our log area. Uh, the last place, uh, second to last place, I guess, we're going to visit is our dairy area. I don't know if I've got any vehicles over here or not. So we're going to drive our trucks. Yep. Drive our truck. Now, this is, if you feel this team, this truck looks like a wild gas, it would catch up to like about like 24 oh, miles you know, per hour. Yeah. Oh. You know what else, buddy? What? I think I just drove by it. Um, we got to go up here. We've got a truck that we need to stop by and see. Let's see, here's the lizard. I promised y'all that we'd take a look at this. Let's park that one right there, and uh... I did buy a lizard because for a while there we were trying to... Whoa! <laughs> right into our Ford. I was trying to compare to make sure that the, that the Ford handled better than the lizard. That's all that mattered. We already knew that it looked a heck of a lot better. Um, this thing looks like a car compared to the Ford. Let's pull him up a little bit closer. Uh, that's about even there. You can see the difference. Uh, this actually looks like a truck that we should have gotten, even if it would have been a lizard. Uh, and this is a little car. Um, when you look at the box in the back, too, there's quite a difference. Uh, besides our lift kit, it makes it lift it a little bit, which looks nice. The actual box size is quite a bit longer. You can fit two wool pallets in the back of the truck and haul them with no problem. This one, you're only going to get one. Uh, but the little lizard does work still pretty good and Again, we purchased it so we had a truck to compare and I decided just to park it over here and uh, We use that to sell our chicken eggs for oh. now might Hi. eventually sell the truck. What's up? Um, here, I'm over here because I need to go over to sell her uh, chicken, uh, chicken eggs I don't even know where you went. Looks like you're oh you're right down the road. Okay. Oh. Turn around. Yep, there you go. Okay, Back up. Aiden's got all his fancy lights on. Oh. I promised Aiden, he, he begged me that in this chore log at the end if we could do a race with our oh. trucks. Yep, but, but, but not right now because we have to like do work and yep. work and we can never do that. And oh, we will be doing a race, I promise. If we don't, then we just don't. He promises that we will do a race. Yep. You'll see over here by our, uh, we'll cut through the grass here. Over by the cattle area, I've got a bunch of areas that uh, were kind of grass and area you wouldn't use. And I've turned them into graveled, flat, perfectly flat parking area uh, for vehicles. And we just never had enough open gravel areas in our, in our uh, last you know, farming game in, in 2013. And uh, especially around the cows where you put all your greenhouses and mixing stations and straw selling, you know, all those sorts of mods. And so I know this area for sure is going to be a place that we put all of our um, greenhouses because it's in very close proximity to the manure. Uh, as well as th this was kind of thinking more along the lines of mixing stations, but we may not use those. We also, one thing we don't do is we do not use helpers. And we, uh, everything that we do on this farm is going to be done by us in hard mode. Crops on slow, withering turned on. Like, we're, we're trying to make this game as difficult as possible. If I could make it more difficult, I would. Uh, short of probably going in and deleting my own money. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to really, uh, to, to do that. So over here we've got the uh, water mod. I haven't really changed too much right here. I love this uh, new st style of barn as far as being able to get in and drive around. Let's cruise up here, buddy. Come on, come on. Not here. I've got 
a couple of nice sheds that I've added in over here. I think this may end up being some logging equipment, uh, at least in one of them, because the biggest forest in this map actually turns out to be the one right behind us. And so this might be kind of a dual purpose area where we have all of our foraging wagons and things like that to feed our cattle. And we also will have some uh, logging equipment uh, up here. Um, we do have some more sheds down here that we can uh, put things in if we want. I, I really love the way these sheds looked when we first got into the farming. And then we uh, started getting in here and using them and found out that they're really not very practical as far as being able to back things in and, and, and get your equipment out and especially when you have things in them you can't see into them very easily and I like the open face so much better so I've kind of removed some of the ones we had and I've switched them out but uh, there's more room back here actually to stick another shed very nicely right here uh, if you wanted to or if we wanted to but um, at this time I just want to have some nice open areas to park things and put things put placeables uh, we're gonna head down the road to whoop hit a pole we're gonna head down the road to the biogas and have a look down here at a small change on our way to the sheep Aiden, you've got to get turned around and you've got to come back to where I am. If you're going to follow, I don't know where you went off to. So the biogas... Oh, you're by the cow yard? Yeah. You come down by the biogas. Yeah, go straight on that road. Okay. Go straight and you'll see where I am. I better... Oh, my lights are on for him. Biogas, I stretched the, uh, the whole works out. I went all the way back to the mountain, thought it was no point in having a road going around the back side of it when you have nowhere to work when you get in here with all your vehicles and you've got nowhere to work. And I'm doing the Westbridge edit the same way. Uh, I've also removed all the parked cars, those were quite annoying. And uh, we've got uh, a shed over here that we can keep some, you know, front loaders and things of that sort. And there's Aiden behind us, he's going to catch us. All right, on our way to the sheep. Again, many changes along the way, but we won't take a look at all the little small things, but take a right out of there and keep on that road, buddy. Another interesting thing to note, I've talked about this in the live stream. Um, there is something right here with the animal warning sign. There's something in there because right here by this sign, when you go into the editor, Aiden, you just ran into me. There's a... You dented up my, my, my whole backside here. You probably put that hitch right to the front of the grill. <laughs> There's a trigger right where we're sitting right now. It's the middle of the sign about the um, thickness of this... Width of this truck going all the way across the road. There's a trigger. And there's something down in the middle of the map that's called elk. And there's a sound file with stampeding animals. I have no idea how you trip it. I don't know if it's only at night or what it is or when it is, but I, I, I seriously think that they're... They say it says elk, but that looks like a moose to me. But it clearly, to me, seems that there's there's something that's going to happen. You're going to have some animals run out in front of you when you're going through there or something. Or you're going to at least hear some. All those files I found in the game, yet I've never seen it or heard it myself when I go through. So, pretty interesting. It's probably like only one certain time or something. But um, we'll continue up this way. Now this truck, uh, again, we've been working out. It's a work in progress. It uh, drives very nice. It tows small trailers nice. Uh, hauls the things in the box very nice. But the only thing it does not do is tow heavy trailers. Uh, which, from my understanding, the lizard truck doesn't. I made a road over there cutting through to get to that uh, mission area. But the only, only thing is, like I said, the lizard doesn't either, from what I've been told and what I've experienced. But this truck is kind of funny because you can hook it up to a trailer, like a, the big uh, a wagon or something with grain in it, and it won't move it. <laughs> so, 
it's just something in the physics that again it's a work in progress and we didn't really get this for towing we've got the uh, we have got you know tractors for doing that so you'll already start to notice some of the things that are different over here with this oh you ran into me again bud with uh, what we did with the sheep area here I've shrunk field four flatten this area out and we've got our sheds over here with the wool inside and uh, we actually got a full pallet there and we don't have a vehicle down here anymore we're gonna have to keep a vehicle of some sort down here but for right now we're gonna cheat a little bit well I don't think that's uh, gonna work let's try this I've uh, put the wool pallet in here we don't have the wool pallet mod yet haven't carried that over or it's it's not been released yet. Kind of waiting for it to get released and spend my time farting around with it. But I kind of use my truck and bump it out of the way for now. Eventually, the conveyor will run all the way down the back side of the shed, and we'll be able to, you know, have this for a wool shed and keep a front loader or telehandler or something in here. And the other shed here, it's just just extra storage. Maybe we'll keep some uh, mowing equipment or something like that. We got that shed up there too. So it's just a nice little area to get get our work done, pull a semi up nice and flat and use that. Our placeable fence that we did have carried over, but we were getting some errors in the in the game file, which is okay, they worked fine, but we we're trying to get all of our, our mods that we carried over uh, you know spot free. So I've gone ahead and pulled the fences out and ran over our sheep. I've pulled the uh, the, the, the fences out right now. We just got open open fences. Um, but those will be coming back here eventually. We'll get those closed off like we had them. Once we get a chance to rework those mods a little bit more. So, that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, Aiden, we should leave a truck down here, but, uh... Let's, I'm gonna go back and get a, uh... I'm gonna go back and get a front loader. You, you know what you can do, bud? Take this semi right here. Uh -huh. And go pressure wash it. That'd be a big help. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna take uh, take this guy and you know where the pressure washer is, right? Oh, All right, go wash that truck. The trailer is not dirty, but the truck is. So get that nice and clean so we can have a better look at it. Yeah. All of this equipment again. We you know no money cheap. Obviously anything like that. We've uh, spent a lot of time. Um, you know especially during the 24-hour live stream and uh, we've had to wipe our save game out a couple times so I basically figured out how much money we had you know at that point and we uh, we, we put that money into our new save game when we got got it up and going but now that everything's up and running patch 1.2 is out uh, we are in great shape we've been running now for uh, two or three weeks absolutely love how dirty the tractors get here's another small change I made I connected these roads for whatever reason they never connected them which is kind of weird that the road just stopped and then another one was right there so just little things like that I went through and really did what I th what I thought should it you know the, how the map should have been done from from the beginning uh, I was very careful as always not to delete anything from the map like uh, over at the lumber yard it looks more barren I actually didn't delete anything I just moved things and I actually added in quite a few sheds and buildings over there uh, you know to make it look like a busy lumber mill area so there's not been anything actually deleted did you get the truck clean yet bud? uh yep good deal can you tab over here to the uh, Ford truck again? yep uh well I didn't put it first what's your way? And back a truck up here. Uh, you're so good at that. And put the tailgate down. Then we can get these uh, pallets loaded up here. There we go. Definitely want to get straight on. Hopefully I don't get trolled by these pallets. Got my tailgate down.
Okay, where are you? I don't see you. Okay, can you back up? I need you to, I want you to back up here so I don't have to drive all the way over there. Aiden parked his truck on the sidewalk. Keep backing up. Keep going, bud. But now I'm seeing No, keep going. I have her uh, backup lights. Yep. Fire. Oh, your backup lights. There you go. Keep going backwards. Straight. Okay. Okay, that's good. Perfect. I'm going to put two wool pallets in, I think. Okay. Actually, you know what? We could d oh, We could definitely do two, but I think... Um, My uh, power was just to be your truck. And then I think Aiden's going to want to haul one, too, so... They will sit nice and flat in there. I didn't get it on there nice and flat, but, uh... But, but, but do, you, do you remember I dried off one of my flower? Do you remember? I remember one time in the live stream when you took off going about 70 miles an hour over jumps and lost the pallet. Alright, that was my fault loading it like that, but uh, you can clearly see you can get a second one in there. Uh, Aiden, do you want to haul one in your truck or do you want me to put both in mine? Okay, I'll do that then. Then we can show our our viewers. Um, um, I'm gonna be in this truck which where you get their pallets in, and then, <laughs> then uh, and then that. I'm I was gonna let this pallet fall off so that I could re put it on there again. Uh, but the good thing is, in this game, when you have a pallet fall over, it's no big deal to flip it. The f physics are so much better. But it's very important with this pickup to to get straight on. And these are, in my experience, I think these are the worst forks in the game. They're so widespread that they hit both sides, and they're just a real bugger to work with. But uh, we're not normally going to use a tractor for this kind of thing, but we, we, we weren't able to get a telehandler until just a few days ago, and it's hardly been used. Eventually we'll have telehandlers over here. No, no. This one's floating. Can you put your tailgate up? Uh. Put your tailgate up. Keep going. Oh, don't fall out there. Okay, there we go. I wasn't, uh... Oh, it's actually stuck the fork in there. Put the tailgate down. Well, that's bizarre. Hey. Uh, hold on, bud. Something is glitched on and it's actually locked my forks. There we go. Well, that's not the best way I wanted to get him in there, but that, that certainly will work just fine. So with this weight in the back and our two pallets, we're going to head over to the wool. Alright, make sure you turn your lights on. Oh yeah, we better put all of our lights on here. we got a big load. Uh -huh. Now one thing that's going to happen when we start driving is these pallets are going to look like they're glitching all over. And it happens as soon as we get above 51 or 50 miles an hour, which is the top speed of the Lizard fastest vanilla vehicle and I think it's just because the pallets aren't uh, quite used to you know designed to go that fast in, in a truck but they don't come out uh, it just looks weird we'll go ahead and kick it down here that sounds like fall down surprise they're actually staying in there uh, they're not they're not giving us that glitchy animation it might just be in the multiplayer uh, server that they do that Oh, you almost lost one. No. Let's see how fast we're actually going here. I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it out in this field a little bit. In our multiplayer it looks so weird because they'll start Oh well, I guess it doesn't do it when you're the host. It's just a multiplayer thing. Yeah. You're right behind me. Whoa, and there was some weight. We spun her around. <laughs> All that weight. Because you can't really break this one too easy. But um, I just wanted to get out in an open field to open it up a little bit. But yeah, it handles handles like a dream. This truck is just beautiful. Alright, we'll drive through our wool selling point. 
Most of the triggers in this game I've gone ahead and stretched. I don't know if I did that one. I don't think I did because it was good enough. I think I made it taller to make sure that it would pull off of there. But going back, I may end up shrinking that one too and force you to have to unload the wool uh, to sell it. Yeah. So that that probably will, will happen in one of my future edits. Then we can cut right through to our nice little yard here where we're going to park this. And we're going to get to uh, start harvesting. Uh, hold on, Daddy. That's to fill our truck down with gas, okay, Daddy? Our trucks have got plenty. You don't really use a lot of gas in here like you did before. Hey, we'll I'm tab over to our truck that Aiden cleans so nice. And uh, you can see those graphics a little bit better. They're low res right now. It's not how I put them on. It's just how they basically ended up looking when they were put onto this truck that wasn't meant to have, it, have graphics on it, but we're going to work those those things out as well. And this thing does go... Well, I can't remember how fast. It was a lot faster than the MAN. I'll tell you that. Whoa, you're running into me, bud. Alright. Why don't you get up here in your truck? You're going to have to... Well, I'll have to turn you around here. All right, Aiden's going to drive that one. I'm going to run over here and grab. Probably won't work on any missions today. The missions are uh, quite fun. Back, uh, back your truck in there, bud. I'm going to be doing... I am, I'm not going to do under whole harvest thing. Yeah, I'll harvest and you can run the truck for me. You're real good at that. Uh, Aiden's probably wanting to drive his, uh, his truck around. Oh, okay. Well, the other, the semi is over here. Uh, the big I grain trailer. I want to ask for a harvest. Because I'm not doing that. Doing that. We're going to pick this field off. And uh, we do have some planting that needs to be done. I don't know if we'll get time to do that today. But all that... All these chores, again, are, are being done now with no helpers. We're not even using the follow me mod. Follow me mod kills, uh, you know, kills games. Kills, um, jobs. That's what I was trying to say. Kills my game uh, by making it too easy. So, you know, I was a big fan of that in Farming 13, but in Farming 15, we're, we're not going to use the, the, uh, the helpers. Or the follow me. But I'm still a fan of the follow me mod. I, I can see if you're playing by yourself. I, th I think that's a must have mod. Doing good, buddy. This uh, spout just isn't quite high enough. And uh, we're going to eventually use an auger wagon to pull from the, the, the uh, harvester. But the uh, problem that we've got right now is that... Uh, we don't have we didn't have money, and I need you to move, bud. And uh, this keep going, just drive. I'm at the end. There you go. See, I didn't even get. Yeah. Yep. But we uh, we're gonna run the auger wagon, or but it'll also help when we get the bigger. You don't have to follow me this time. You don't have to follow me. I'll let you know when I'm full. Just make sure you move the truck out of there, because I'm going to come back. It'll be right in my way. Okay? Well, I think I want to do the whole combine thing, because I'm, I'm going to be... I'll run the combine. You don't have to worry. He gets nervous in the combine, but maybe we'll have him do a little bit of combining here uh, at the end. Um, so, yeah, we still got to get ourselves a bigger combine. That'll help speed up the process and of course have a higher higher spout there which actually doesn't hit the trailer it's hitting those long pipes on top of the uh, on the peat there which I kind of wish they didn't do that but it does look fancy I'll let you know when I start getting full okay bud okay, I'm gonna go fill my truck off the Okay, well, if you, yeah, you want to fill the trucks up, you can do that. I'll give you something to do. 
Well, you don't have to go there, bud. There's a gas pump right behind you by the shed. Well, I kind of like to go on gas pump. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, there's a pump right in the main yard, too. Yeah, but... I know, but that's... That's after I try filling, uh... Filling on the disc road. It's the predator for going to stand at the farm. He wants to actually drive to the... All the way to the gas station. Maybe the prices are cheaper there. I don't know. Not sure what they have going on. Uh, You're actually putting diesel in there, buddy. Oh, uh, why? That's what that truck uses. Oh. Got You got to be careful. You don't use the the farm diesel with the uh, blue dye in it for yeah. your uh, your vehicle. Your uh, personal driving vehicles, you get pulled over and they'll uh, give you a big ticket. So maybe Aiden's trying to look out for our, our uh, pocketbooks. Uh, but, but what will my, but, can I put your window down? Yup. Can? Can I put But there's no place out for this here, Dad. <laughs> Nope, none at all, huh? But if we get boy up on the field, then then we'll come over. Or them all. We're getting a good harvest done here. We're gonna have uh, some nice canola to put into our silo. Oh, we'll come back home. Sound. Yep. When I get down to the other end there, you can uh, jump over here and empty me out. Okay. Oh, you want to do some combining? Oh, you can't get your story straight, bud. First you told me you didn't want to, and now you do. Well, I did. You think you can drive it in a nice straight line? Uh, oh, All right. cool. Well, come over here, and uh, once I turn around here, you can take it down that, that time, an another time or two, and I'll go get the truck so we can empty you. This is really nice combine. I love the detail. I mean, the graphics of this game, the physics have been so much better. We had some some issues with the the patch that came out uh, with some of the, our mods and whatnot, but we've seemed to got those all sorted out, and, the, and everything has been just working so wonderful. So. Okay, I'll park it right here, and you can jump in. Get our lights. Put your lights on. Up that, that going. Um. And driver and go on the inside and drive it in a nice straight line. I think it'll be a lot easier for him when we get a bigger head on it. Because uh, right now, uh, if you if you leave too much of uh, a gap on the one side, then you'll end up, you know, not taking much crop off. So it's. It's not much to work with. Once we get a bigger header, he can give himself a few feet on the end so he doesn't miss, but... The other day it looked like a drunk guy was uh, doing all of our harvesting. I'm getting that, actually. Yep. Aiden is getting so much better. Oh, look at you, buddy. You are really nailing that thing nice. Well, I couldn't be more proud of you running a combine already at age five, huh? Big birthday, Aiden had a couple, uh, well... It was a week ago, a little over a week ago now. I gotta be real careful here or else I'll ram into his pipe like he did me and then it'll spin him out of control, but he's doing a good job. Oh, don't worry about me, bud. You're watching me and... You're doing a good job, don't worry about me at all, okay? You're doing good. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to watch out free so I don't actually miss. That's why I'm... Yep. No, you're doing really good. Put her to the floor and 
I got you empty, so you're you're set to go. You think you can you can combine here for just a few minutes? Um, I think I need to be emptied. Damn. Oh, you're you're empty right now. I'm gonna bring this tractor back up while you're doing that. Okay. We're getting a lot of good chores done. I don't know if we'll get to get to our animals today. Yeah, there you go. Good job. We'll go and put that up since now you'll have to spin it around and go down the other side. I'll drive the tractor back. Better put our flashers on. We're flying down the road here. Oh, that's only important. Over the sidewalk we go. Yeah. Excellent interiors. Uh, they really, really made this one look a whole lot nicer. The mirrors are nice. Uh, and I know there's so many mods that you guys are going to recommend. And the one I can think of right now is, oh, there's, the, you can move your mirrors. Uh, I've seen that and everything. Uh, everyone I know uses it. We don't use it in the server. Uh, it, at the end of the day, the mirrors still, even when you move them, it kind of makes them look funny because it pops the glass out. doesn't actually move the whole mirror. Uh, and you still don't really see a whole lot. So I haven't put them in the server, and uh, maybe eventually I will. But right now I just haven't really seen much point in it. I still turn around and look and that sort of thing, but... Gotta love those physics. We lose our speed going up the hill here. Boy, are we really, uh... Is that gas? That's not, not right. I didn't know if the gas one was working, working or not. It says we're, uh... Oh, I suppose it is working, yes. Nice, you get all the way to the other end, buddy. Yep. I'm getting a little bit better since. Uh, nice big trigger on the gas thing here. I hate having small triggers, so we made sure that everything would stretch out. And there's our fuel gauge nice and up there. I love having working gauges, especially on the combine when you can look over on your your post over there and see exactly where you're you're at as far as how, how full you are. Or you can turn around and look in your, your bin that's behind you. Let's see, let's put this... Actually, I'm going to go in front ways because I need to pick up Mother Doodad here. What's your other doodad? Oh boy. There we go. And you said, uh, um, fuel wine. So if I go this wine, um, I have to be all done. Right? Yeah, just keep on doing a good job, buddy. Don't miss any crop. We need everything we can get. Our farm is working overtime to try to, try to keep up. If you uh, want to go in your uh, truck, um, I have a. I mean, if you want to go in my truck, uh, you can't because I built a uh, gas up bush uh, truck. Right. Here's our John Deere. We really like this one. I was using it for doing some uh, fertilizing. I'm gonna get the truck. This yeah. thing has been an excellent mod. A great price. I did adjust it though to where. I kept the price the same because the price is realistic for a used one at 65000 but I tripled or quadrupled the amount of daily maintenance on this vehicle. Uh, we also have a JCB in here. We haven't purchased one yet. Um, I'll go get the truck, bud. You can get in the combine. I'll take care of you. Um, you're not full yet. You just keep running there, and I'll get you. But, uh, yeah, we're... We're trying to make any mod that we bring in, I want it to be a realistic uh, vehicle or implement for starters, and I also want the price and the daily maintenance to be right in line with everything else in the game. So like the JCB, I, I doubled the cost on that and uh, quadrupled the maintenance on it as well because I don't want anything that uh, makes the game, you know, too, too much of a cheat. So, all right. He says he is getting full. You're doing really good. You're gonna... A little bit of wave there. He's following his crooked line. <laughs> Don't dig in it. Don't dig in too deep. It's 
kind of weird to be in here actually uh, not have the other guys running around doing different chores and things like that so as, as you all know you've seen uh, chore log 13 and we actually included uh, Ross Jason and Lee and uh, that was a lot of fun and I want to do stuff more like that with our chore logs but the first one here is just Aiden and I we got a nice little farm tour we're getting some of our chores done and uh, we're gonna work on this field a little bit more and then we're gonna go over and take care of our uh, I'd like to cut a tree or two down and and uh, go over to our lumber area and unload that okay oh oh man New Holland on sale Wow, hey wow, wow. Shall we buy that? Ooh, that is... We got crops to sell, but we may have to take advantage of that one. That's something else to have pop up. Um, Let's go ahead and buy that thing. No, we can't go shopping right now. We'll, we'll add them in later. Yeah. You gonna keep doing your work, or you wanna go get the truck and empty me? I'm gonna fix your crooked line here. You did pretty good though. At least you didn't leave crops all over the field. Yeah, but I did like some, but... Yeah, you did a good job though. You got a little bit of a squiggly line. Just, you probably want to stop, buddy. I'm behind you, remember? Um, Try to straighten right out these lines here. a little bit. But you can another sour or so I'm gonna go and take a break and then We gotta get uh, some of our work done so that we can have a little race. Yep. Now we'll be doing uh, again so a lot of live streaming from our Westbridge map. We'll be doing. Um, whoop! My spout hit your. Uh, why don't you move? Why don't you pull out of there? There you go. That's good. And then knock this little lip off here. Yeah, we'll get our Westbridge edit. I really want to include that on some videos. I don't. We're not going to do chore logs per se from there, but um, we'll definitely try to get s some kind of footage. I just haven't had time to think about that whole setup. I'm only 50% done with the edit on Westbridge, um, and then of course I won't be doing any kind of YouTube recording videos. The other, uh, the other server, the public server. There's just too many variables in a public setup, and and uh, I, I don't want to record videos in that environment. And uh, we'll, but I'll definitely be in there live streaming, and some of those will end up over to YouTube. Uh, but we're running that beautiful Two Rivers map. That thing is the most impressive map I have ever seen in Farming Simulator. It looks outstanding. So we're running it right now, and you're definitely encouraged to check out that 24-7 server video. We're almost empty. And uh, you can get the information you need to get in there and uh, start helping out with the, all the farm work that needs to be done over there. Okay. I'm going to knock this little end off here. didn't realize I was getting so full. That's a good thing, though, when you're dealing with canola to, to be full. Alright, let's turn around and head back, and now we'll try to really get her straightened out. I just uh, love running the harvester, but not gonna lie, I would love to get a bigger one. And I am fully aware, I love it when people uh, come into live streams and try to, try to educate me on... Uh, telling me you, you know you can put any harvester end on the end of that and uh, yes I fully know that but that doesn't mean it's the correct way to do it especially when you have a end on it that's so wide that you and you have a little spout when you go to unload you're gonna run right into your your head and you know we like to do things in multiplayer so I know you can back up still to a trailer but that's not how we do things here and I wanna I wanna progress 
through each harvester all the way up until we get to the end where we'll run some of the bigger New Hollands in cases. We'll have a couple of those and that's about it. So I want to really enjoy each harvester. I got to run the, I call it the shampoo, but I think it's the shampoo or something like that. I really enjoyed uh, that one for a couple hours during my 24 hour stream and then we moved up to this one and then I had uh, had been out for real life hunting and chore log uh, prep preparations as far as edits and mods and all the work we were doing and then we had problems with with the patch. Uh, the patch fixed a lot of things in the game but broke a few things for us so we had to get those sorted out and well here we are. Let's go down one more here and I may not finish this whole field right now. Aiden, are you gonna harvest some more? I think I can do it. You all done with the harvesting? Yeah, yeah we we gotta keep this video uh, somewhat timely, so we can come back in here and or one of the other guys will finish it up later tonight. This this uh, canola just uh, just turned earlier today, so. Uh, it'll be it'll be good for a little while Again, we don't speed time up so or stop the time and The server runs whether we're in here or not, so it's it's been kind of funny I won't, I won't say frustrating, but it's been kind of funny when we come in here and Crops are all withered after spending all that time planning and it's like well We should have we should have come in here. We had a full 24 hours to get them off of real real lifetime we get busy and that's what happens. So I like to think of it like as if we had a drought or, you know, real life, you end up with hail damage on your crops or insect damage or, you know, low yield. And uh, it's the same way in here. We end up spending money on all that. And although we don't have crop insurance, <laughs> but. Uh, I just know that we're not even live streaming. We're not using our cameras or. Oh, Aiden got a new camera. So, I'm glad Aiden brought that up, because if, uh, if you guys aren't watching us on the Twitch, uh, and I want to give you my desperate plea, we really need help with viewers and followers over on Twitch. Aiden and I do so much live streaming over there, and of course, as you can imagine, a lot of what we do is farming simulators. So, if you're, if you're, if you're really a big fan of the chore logs and you love watching this, um, Yes, the quality is not quite as high over on Twitch because we're live streaming it, but uh, it looks plenty good. And you get to see my webcam on one corner and Aiden's webcam on the other, and there's a chat. You get to interact with other fans of the game and fans of Gun and Gamers. And uh, we get to interact with you, and it's just a whole lot of fun. And we do that a couple times. I do it three days a week. Aiden usually comes to at least one or two streams. Uh, we've got Lee and Ross and Jason and and uh, even Evil may pop in once in a while. You guys know him. He's a top mod over at the uh, Twitch. So we've got all kinds of folks that are going to be coming in the, those live streams and, and live streaming. It's a really good time. A lot of you I've seen over there, but uh, a big thank you on the 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. But we could really use your help over on Twitch because I am not partnered yet. And I really want to get there. So I'm going to give links for that in the bottom of this video. Create your Twitch account and get on over there and check us out. We're uh, going uh, Wednesdays at 7, Saturdays at 10 p.m. This is Central U.S. time. And Sundays at 8 o'clock. And then we have a few extras that we, we do uh, here and there during the week as well. Um... What else? Oh, we've also got our Steam community up and going. If you have Steam, I highly encourage you to click on the Steam link below. And uh, join the Gun and Gamer Steam community. You can find all kinds of friends that play the games that, that uh, we play here and that we enjoy. You can communicate with us. You can ask tech, tech question help. Uh, you can just link up with all kinds of gamers uh, 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 you know that do these simulators and, and other types of the racing games that we do and things like that so I highly encourage you to join on to the Gun and Gamer Steam community as well and we're having all kinds of fun over on that Twitch aren't we Aiden? Oh. 
Aiden loves live streaming. He loves his camera. We're going to get him set up with a professional microphone like mine. All right, buddy. I am at the end here. Okay. Want to come up here and unload me? Yep. Okay. Let's see. You could probably, probably leave that sitting right there. We should just about get the rest of this field off. Okay, there you go. Let's stay right there. I'll drive over to you. I didn't know you. I thought you might have been in the truck. Whoops. I am one. Well, maybe the pipes don't hit. I thought the pipes might have been colliding with this pipe. I think it's more or less the corner of the trailer. Hey, you were almost done. Yep. If we just have a bigger... Uh, oh, a bigger uh, combine, a bigger header, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it 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 would take us like well, it would take us like. We're probably gonna end up moving up to the the case model here. Of course, these two are the ones I've really got in in my eye, but um, you know this one here happened. Well, it's only a five percent off sale. It's not really that big of a sale. It's tempting to almost buy another one of these, but I I I think I'm gonna. I want to step up. We're going to keep this one. And then when when I, when I go to buy this one, I'll sell the New Holland. And when we get our money's up a little bit more and I go to buy this one, we'll sell we'll sell this case. And we'll probably just run a bunch of these just so we have a couple different, you know, brands represented. But uh, that's that's kind of my plan right now uh is to eventually run cuz both of these are excellent uh combines. But uh we we really need another combine, and I I don't think I'm gonna be able to trade this one in. If it, if it was Case IH on sale, it'd be more tempting to trade this one in because, uh, of course, Case IH would come down in price, and I'd probably be standing over at that store right now in in line waiting to buy something. But even the new haul in there, it's only five percent. Well, we're almost finished with this field, but just because I don't want to get this video too long, and we had to do a little tour of the farm, we're gonna. We're going to stop and leave our combine sit right there for right now. I want to jump over and uh, have a little go around with... Actually, we need to get our truck over here. I'm going to park this trailer out in this field. And it seems like the more weight you put on this truck, the better off it does. Uh, it does drift a little bit, not nearly as bad as the MAN does, but... Um, when you put weight on it, it really sticks to the ground nice. So, you want to get in the telehandler, bud? Okay. <laughs> what is that? The front loader vehicle. I don't think you've even driven that. We're gonna we're gonna haul that on here. Ow. I'm gonna give you a ride. Jump in this vehicle right over here, bud. Oh, yeah. oh. Telehandler. Oh gosh, if you walk any closer, you're going to hit your face on it. Let's put this thing down here. Is it this one? Yep. Yep. Drive it up on here. Uh, or actually, uh, drive it over here at least. I may have to help you get it on there because it's... It is kind of a wide vehicle. Yeah, you're okay. definitely not going to do it like that. I can actually... I'm a big boy. I'm a... I, okay, I big boy. I can actually do it. And the truck is sliding down the hill. Okay, go ahead. You're doing good. Four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer. Okay, stop. Oh. oh. Back up. There you go. You can actually... Uh, it, it can be put up there. We actually have hauled the uh, truck on there. And and uh, like I said, the more weight you put on the peat, the better it seems to even want to do. It really handles nicely. So Now, the trick is here, Aiden, is go and push reverse. Push reverse. But what is reverse? Well, this pedal. Just, okay, hold that. When I move and he pushes reverse, it's almost like it it puts the brake on and it actually, I don't know. Just in theory, we feel like it holds the vehicle on better. Yeah, you forgot to walk oh. it. I oh. Holy cow. I don't think he was holding it, but uh, he could have slid off of there. There is no lock, buddy. Oh. That's the only bad thing about this vanilla trailer is they did not give us a locking script at all, which kind of surprised me, but... Maybe it wasn't something that 
could have been put in the game. But I kind of lost control going down that hill, so. Well, this. Go ahead and drive her up there, bud. You're very uh, not so good there. That's okay. not going to work. You're going to back up. All right, try again. We're not going to definitely go on inside view. Yep. Go on inside view? Yeah. Oh, you're going to do outside? I mean, Wh which one do you think is easier for you? Well, it's like, I really like Don't put that up. That's going to make you tip over. I just pull forward. You're good. Go ahead. That's probably the worst uh, driving I've seen yet, buddy. Go in the inside view so you can see. Get her loaded. Come on. There you go. Drive up there. That's right. Drive up there. Now you're doing good. Turn. Oh my goodness. Um. Alright, well I'm gonna try to drive a little bit better so he doesn't fall off. He's hanging off that one side, but let's see uh, how fast we're going. Yeah. I hope you don't, buddy. It's got a nice cab on it, too. Whoa, I took that corner really quick. It's trying to slow down, but uh, braking is a little bit more of a challenge with all that weight. Kind of taking the long way around, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Got a couple t trees. Maybe maybe we'll just cut one down so we can uh, haul it on over and get it dumped. We're actually done enough. Yes, we Well, this thing is struggling to pull up this hill now, isn't it? Oof, stop. And we'll pull right up in here. Just like that. And I'll put the uh, button down. And Aiden, you can back her up, buddy. You are such a good worker to have around. And... We'll just pull this up. I was going to say, where did my other trailer go? Aiden, do you want to go cut one tree down? Go cut one down for me, bud. Yep, I can. Whoa, oh, 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 that's not good. That almost destroyed our uh, trailer here. All right. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, bud. Is that on the edge? Okay, you're good. Yeah, cut one down right there on the edge. I just want to make sure you weren't running deep into the forest because then they're really hard to get out of there. But uh, you're good, bud. Aiden's going to chop that tree down like George Washington, except he's not going to be using an axe. He's going to be using a big old chainsaw. There you go. Timber. Timber. Oh, he picked a big one too. That's how we do it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut your. Foot. Yep. Go ahead and cut all them limbs off, and they got this working nice in multiplayer too now with that patch. Get rid of these limbs. Hurry up. Well, that's bizarre. Put limb on there. Uh, this one here just about needs to be cut into three sections, but I'm gonna do two. Oh, no, don't cut it, don't cut it. All right, let's put the chainsaw away. Do you have fun cutting it? Uh, I just want, I like kind of, um, these green canes. That is my funny part, and I want to... He's going to roll down the hill, and this tree is going to stop it. Let's try to scoop that thing up. Everybody keeps telling me uh, as if I, I guess maybe they think I didn't know it was in the game, but they keep saying you should get, use the Scorpion King and the Buffalo and all that sort of thing. And uh, we definitely know about them. We know they're there, but again, we're playing in hard mode. And hard mode? But hard mode isn't easy. 
Exactly, buddy. That's deep thought right there. Hard mode ain't easy. Um, so it's going to take us a little bit of time to get that kind of money to be able to, you know, work our way up to, to get there. Aiden banging his microphone there a little bit. Apologize. We're going to be getting him set up with a professional mic like I said earlier, like the one I have, and that way we can really try to clean up our audio even more. And He's got his own camera, so we're, we're getting things up and going. Really love to see everybody out. These videos, farming videos especially, get so many views here on YouTube, and I'm so appreciative. YouTube is always our, our main home. Um, but uh, definitely want to make a home over on Twitch, and I'm hoping within the next month or so we'll get partnered over there, and that'll really help us. Because uh, those commercials, they get played no matter if we're partnered or not. It's just that Twitch keeps all the money, and, you know, we'll get compensated a little bit from those same commercials that play if we're partnered. So uh, it'd be really a nice really a nice thing and yeah how cool how cool if we cut all these trees it would be like clear and then we could park our uh, uh trucks uh here and then we can, uh -huh. and then we can park all of our trucks and then we can and then we can ride them around that's right and then that's what jump in the agri vector and follow me that's what that thing's a little bit slow, but uh, that's why we started out here, is that way we're really close to... Uh, this forest is the closest forest to the, the logging area, and hopefully we get our money built up and get several semis. We can transport all of our logs and equipment to reach out to the farther uh, forest. We'll clear them out. All well, we'll replant this one so that we can go work the other ones, and then the trees will be uh, in real time, you know, growing back again. So, you see me, bud, where I went? Yeah, you're right. You're right there. You know where to turn, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. We're gonna bring them over here so that we can try out our little log area and Aiden definitely likes to send the train when we get done. He's good at it too. Even when I forget, he remembers. He doesn't forget. Uh, don't, don't it. Are you coming? I'm stuck. Uh oh. You're over in the toolies, it looks like. Raise your deal up and back up. Come on over. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting. I don't know what he's doing. He's driving through that guy's yard over there, tearing, tearing it all to heck and Ripped up the flower bed and put ruts all over his yard. Oh my gosh. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? No, 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 stop. Holy crapper, you're driving right into the pond. Please. Go forward. Yeah, you got four-wheel drive, but we don't want to find out. Here, jump out. Oh my goodness, are you being crazy behind the wheel today or what? I know you, I know you want to drive across this bridge, didn't you? He sees a bridge and he's like... Uh, He's just, he's gotta go for it, he's gotta go for it. <laughs> Hope we don't get her stuck, I'd hate to reset it and have to bring her back. There we go. Alright. Now, now Dad gets to drive across the bridge, haha. -ha. <laughs> I don't, I don't like doing that. Yeah, I do like, uh... Oh, don't let the train go yet, we need to load it up. You can actually load your logs directly to the train. Which is great, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna drop them in our pile here. Okay, um, try not to pick uh, two up, okay? Pink. Oh, I'd love to pick two up. It's it's really doesn't work that well, but um. Well, I think uh, the math way fixed it, and then. No, uh, it's kind of an invisible barrier here, and uh, it's actually a little bit annoying. Once you poke the forks through, it just doesn't work very well especially with that with logs this size it doesn't work very well with the uh, if you we were to section them up like use the scorpion king 
I think it would work just fine. I try hit the end and was there. There it is. Oh Gotta get those logs nice and low. And I, I did this all on purpose, like I said. Coming from farming 13 and doing so much forestry over there, it felt a little bit weird that we didn't have to unload the logs, because that's half the fun. Cutting them, sectioning them up, loading the logs, and unloading the logs. That's all part of the fun. We don't have a good grip on this one, so we're going to be real careful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Right, right. Sure, there we got it. Okay, I'm going to watch, watch your train, train go. Bye, train. Right. Okay. There it goes. Try to outrun it. Grab the truck and follow me, bud. Okay. We'll go back over here to our lumber area. Lumber, why not? Careful. Yeah, you're driving a big semi. Don't run me over. I got my light on. I got my flashers. I got my light on. My little little light here. And we've also put. Uh, should have been looking at the money. We just don't like HUDs. <laughs> HUD hider is always my favorite mod. People ask me. Uh, one seventy five. I don't, and I showed the money when we were talking about the combines. I don't remember what what we had. 150? I don't remember. One I, must have been higher than that. I think I'm, I always have been buying something. Yep, stop right there, bud. Stop right there. Stop. Back up. Back up a little bit. Ah. Uh, more. Yep, oh, oh, that's good, that's good. That's perfect. Unhook. Oh, oh, this is not good. Wow, it actually locked the... Uh... Okay. okay. I need you to come and hook up to this really quick. Oh, good, you unhooked. Okay. Uh, this is not so good here, son. This is not so good. Oh, come and, oh, yeah, coming back up. You're doing good. Uh, that trailer did not like me being on top of it without it being hooked to a truck. All right, keep back, and you're doing. You don't straight back. You're doing great. There, hook it up. Uh, uh, okay, well, maybe a little up. bit more. You got to go back. Oh, are you hooked up? Oh, no. oh you are hooked up. Okay, hit. Uh, watch your mic there, and hit X. X. Uh -huh. X like X-ray. Oh, you got it. Okay, now we're it. good. I'm you don't want to drive it? You want to ride? <laughs> Can't say I didn't try to let him. This is a logging edition truck too. It's got supposedly more horsepower, although I don't know if there's a difference in the actual physics and how they drive. Um, and what else? Oh, of course the tires. The other one comes with, you know, regular looking semi tires and dualies in the back. And uh, this one costs 20 grand more. So I went with the logging edition of the Pete. Now this truck came from, I want to say it was like LS15 or LS2015, I get those sites, or LS2015 mods or something like that. It's one of those sites. miss our turn son oh well we'll take this road I think this one gets us where we need to go also oh this one does still trying to learn some of these little back roads in here if you have a truck like we do you can like race your truck like four miles per hour oh yeah that reminds me bud now that we got our work done is it time to play yet is it time to play you think so? Definitely. Uh oh. Yeah. This is not gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna cut across here. We're driving. Oh my goodness, we missed our. 
Uh oh. This road does not uh, go where I want it to. Are you still on back there, bud? I gotta get used to driving this uh, this truck with all the weight on it. Oh. Aiden's still on back there. He's still holding on for dear life. Alright, here we go. We're going to climb this hill now. This is a road that we made. Oh, and the horn is horrible on here, so we're going to try to fix that. That is almost... I wonder if that was supposed to be uh, done on a joke. I think that we're spinning because that... Well, it is moved up a little bit. This thing definitely will pull up faster, but uh, I bet you, I don't know, I'd, I'd be interested to know if the MAN would do any better up there. I haven't ran that one too much, but from my little bit of experience... Alright, bud. Yep, no, we'll just leave them loaded. You ready? Uh, oh, that's my truck. Oh, oh, that's your, oh jeez. Definitely don't get in the wrong one, because okay. they're so different. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then you turn the lights on, so I can actually see all your lights on, yep. Alright, okay. so the rules are you have to stay in the dirt field. You have to stay on the dirt field. Yes, but, all right. but... Okay. Can't leave the dirt field, and uh, I, I guess it's like a tag you're it. I don't know, we're still trying to work on the rules of this game, so... Are you ready, bud? Yep. I'll let you you um you count down three, two, one, and then go. Okay. One, two, three, one. I'm in. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're going on five, folks. Yeah. Yeah, she's on five again. Yeah, she holds. I fell my truck up in the gas, so I don't get it. All right, we're going to do a little figure eight here, and now the game begins. So Aiden's going to try to hit me, and I'm going to try to hit him. <laughs> whoever gets the hit, whoever gets the three, three hits wins. Three strikes and you're out. you got to stay in the field. Got to stay in the oh. field. Nope. <laughs> I always hit you. Oh, my God. All right, here, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming. <laughs> oh. oh, he leaves the field. Okay, this oh! <laughs> Miss! <laughs> no, you're also here. I can't believe how much. Oh, <laughs> Daddy got me quiet. Ah, oh, there's one tick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's. Oh, now he got oh, me. Oh, I almost. Oh, oh yes, I, I'd got say. You. Ah, that one canceled out. I'd say that's pretty even. That's pretty even. So we each got one hit on each other. We kind of sideswiped. I'm coming after him. Oh, oh. That's not actually get me. <laughs> <laughs> there is another hit on Aiden. Are you going to come after me? Oh, I think so. I don't care. Ah! Gotta get after Daddy. Come on. Oh, God, he's right behind me. <laughs> I missed this. Oh. Oh, fuck. Aiden drives in first person. Maybe that should be a rule. Yeah. Oh no, he's right behind me. <laughs> this is why you're so. Uh, yeah. Actually, truck double is actually dead because. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm right behind you. <laughs> Come on, <Josh. laughs> I oh think I just won. No, you did. Oh, oh, wait, 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 Hey, bud, maybe when you're six, maybe when you're six years old, you'll beat me. What do you think? Well, folks, that was a wrap for us. Aiden's in the ground. Aiden is in the ground. Uh, That's okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead That's and okay. end, we'll go ahead and end our video here. 
right underneath our sign. Aiden is Aiden's truck is dead. All dead. Aiden, you got any any last thoughts? Anything else you want to say? Well, my dad's throwing over race. I tried my best to hit your daddy. Yeah, thing. and we got to show off the undercarriage of the truck. I mean, that you know, it was that's oh, that's pretty cool. nice. We've actually got springs, so you can actually see uh, the original under underneath of it. There was no axles or springs or anything like that, so they had to place those, and they kind of matched up fairly good, but. Uh, the whole thing is, is you're not really supposed to have to look underneath the truck too often, but uh, Aiden here is going to have to learn how to how to out out uh, wit his father. So, folks, I want to thank you so much for watching our videos, and and especially like I said before, big thank you for helping us hit 20,000 subscribers. I cannot wait. We're a fifth of the way to our silver play button from YouTube. I cannot wait. Uh, don't forget to join our Steam group. Don't forget to check out. Our our uh, Twitter, f uh, follow us on there so you know when we're gonna when we're going to uh, go on the Twitch and ag and again, definitely definitely help us out over there. Give us a big follow. Come watch our live stream shows. They're a whole lot of fun. We crank up some music, and uh, Aiden and I tend to do a little bit more driving around craziness on there. So, I uh, want to thank everybody for watching. Aiden, do you have any last thoughts? Oh, hi. Yes, that's it of our whole racing team, but there is one more thing that there is. What? Um, there's no, that this is robot number one, and, um, do you know, if you ever have a fire, come call 1-1. One one. <laughs> come call 911 if you ever have a fire. That's good. That's very good advice. Uh, definitely. De we've got a little fire prevention. If you ever crash your truck upside down, call 911 after your father hits you with his truck. Well, right? Well, there's, yeah. there's no fire truck in here. Okay. Guy. No, there's no fire truck. Thank you all for watching. Uh, until next time. Take care. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.